Hi friends, welcome back to Arun Sharma Mindwork channel and uh, this video and this group of videos I am actually talking to you about the quantitative aptitude preparation strategy, the prep strategy for QA which is uh, one of the three critical sections of CAT. Although in my opinion people prepare QA too much and, and underdo the other sections but, but still uh, I am not saying that you reduce your, uh, your QA preparation uh, work, you, you have to increase the work that you do on the others. Uh, because QA, as you know, is one of the critical sections. It's, the, it's it's a section that if you can master, it can take you all the way to. I mean, there are people who score who will who will score a ninety percentile overall even by doing nothing in verbal and RC and uh, DILR. Only on the QA score you can reach 90, 92 percentile of the CAT, and and that's uh, in the context of uh, CAT twenty. If you look at it, uh, ninety percentile was at around sixty five marks and uh, 60, 65 marks. And there are people who got 60 marks in only in the QA section. And if you look at uh, CAT uh, 18, CAT 19 and, and the other, uh, the earlier version of the CAT, 3 hours, uh, 300 marks, 100 marks in QA, around 90 to 100 marks was was uh, quantitative, was quantitative aptitude, uh, uh, was, was the 99 percentile score. And people scored 70, 75, 80 marks in QA. So they're almost reaching the 90 percentile of the whole paper only through the QA section. So it's very critical to to actually raise your scores because DILR में उतने scores बढ़ते नहीं हैं. DILR में you have uh, 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 I, call, I call it a inertia to raise scores because because you really cannot cannot score very high marks. It's very difficult to score very high marks in the in the DILR section. So in your in your uh, strategy for CAT, the two big scoring sections are QA and uh, verbal, of course. So getting your QA prep strategy uh, absolutely correct and in place in shape is going to be one of the most important aspects of your CAT prep journey. So, um, when we talk about QA preparation then what are the what are the three four key things that you should keep in mind. Right, let's, I might talk about four, four major things that I want to talk about here uh, to you. The first is of course the timeline management. Right, and I have talked to you about this in the previous videos on this channel and you will find it in this playlist of CAT prep strategy uh, uh, videos. Uh, where I've talked talk to you about uh, about how to prepare for CAT and, and how do you manage your timelines and, and understanding the fact that you need an input timeline and output timeline. That means you have to divide your preparation timeline in two phases. One when you're taking in and the second when you're taking when you're giving out. Uh, this is uh, possible for anybody who's preparing for an 8 to 12 month period. For him or her it's possible to do these to keep these two timelines completely separate. Uh, of course, if somebody is preparing for 4-5 months timeline, then, then it's not possible to keep these two timelines separate and hence um, then uh, the, the strategy changes. But this uh, group, this, uh, this, this set of videos on, on CAT strategy that I'm doing uh, right now uh, is, is more about the 8-12 to 12 month or even more, uh, uh, even longer preparation strategy that, uh, that people should adopt. So, in that context, I'm going to talk to you about, about trying to make sure that your input timeline the timeline where you are taking in quantitative aptitude and the timeline when you are giving out, when, when you are starting to practice mock tests and simulations etc. in quantitative aptitude, these two timelines should, should be different from each other. You have to keep them separate. And ideally, uh, uh, your, your phase 1, the, the input timeline where you are taking in, mo most of the work you are doing is to take in content and to understand stuff and raise your skills. That uh, should ideally end around four months, uh, if uh, if if not for uh, maybe if not five months before the CAT uh, before the D day of the exam. So if your CAT is in November, uh, July end should should be will be an ideal time to to uh, finish off your uh, input timeline, right? The timeline, the part of the timeline where which is dominated by input. Uske baad you can move to your output timeline. Now what do you do in these timelines, right? So of course, uh, the, the, the focus of the phase 1, the input timeline is around 80-90% of the times you are basically going to solve chapters, you are going to solve, I mean you are basically going through uh, the first round of everything that you are doing, right. And uh, if you have seen my cons book uh, or you can, you can, you can uh, source it from somewhere, you will see that I have divided the cons portion into 6 blocks, block 1 which is number systems and progressions. Block 2 and 3 which is the whole of arithmetic starting from uh, block 2 which is the average allegations and block 3 which is percentage, ratio, proportion, time and work, time, speed, distance, uh, profit and loss and interest. So those 6 chapters. So this is the whole of arithmetic. 
So block two three is that. And block four is geometry mensuration and coordinate geometry, and block five is uh, functions inequalities logs and equations, uh, which includes quadratic equations. And block six is permutation combination probability and set theory. So so this this uh, six part um, uh, six block course or this six block coverage, you have to plan to uh, uh, initiate and uh, execute. in a 4 to 5 month period and and it is possible to do that uh, if if you if you are uh, consistently at it and of course uh, you you need to have a learning attitude etc I'll, i'll come to that if not in this uh, lesson maybe in the next one i'll talk about that ki how do you learn how the learning strategy we'll talk about that later right now we are talking about the plan for giveaway mm-hmm. so when you when you start uh, phase 1 uh, it should ideally start with arithmetic not with block 1 you start start your preparation wise in the book of course i have gone with block 1 first number system first but in this uh, uh, situation you should you should start first with uh, block 2 3 which is uh, uh, which is uh, your uh, uh, arithmetic part and then 1 so 2 3 1 is your f- in first phase 1 of your preparation the input part 2 3 and 1 should should ideally be finished in around 8 to 10 weeks i mean that's that's the ideal time block 2 3 will take you around 6 weeks uh, to finish because the eight chapters if you give around 4 to 5 days per chapter when you're doing it in the first round uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's quite sufficient for each of the chapters and uh, uh, <clears throat> i mean the the number the amount of time you give per day that that is dependent on how much work you need to do so so i'll define the work for you and then you can spread it up, up, up on your timeline etc so how much time do you want to do in a day but typically 2 3 hours a day should be sufficient So if you're assuming two three hours a day and uh, and five days on an average, or कुछ दिन मतलब एक 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 ये भी काम आता है ना कि तुम you are you are pushing yourself कि आज खत्म करना है. So you might have a couple of days where you need deadlines because without deadlines कुछ होने नहीं वाला life में. So you make sure that you have uh, set deadlines when you set your set out your targets. कि this is my uh, block block two three uh, timeline six weeks, and these are my dates. So if I'm starting on on day x the x plus five में my average should be over. X plus eight may my allegation should be over. So, so you have to put that timeline so that you are under pressure during this time. Otherwise, what happens is there's a tendency that if you don't finish in five, you don't finish average in five days, then you will spend ten days in jail. So that ends up extending the timeline without actually doing extra work in that in that time frame. So, so that's one thing that you need to do during this time. So, two, three, one should be the first priority, and that should happen as I told you. Six weeks for two, three is is decent time. or if you are a slow learner and and very weak at maths maybe you can take 8 to 9 weeks there if you are quick learner and very good at maths you can also do it in 4 months 4 weeks so 2 3 can also be finished feasibly in 4 weeks but uh, but 6 uh, is a comfortable timeline and uh, then you come to block 1 which is a 4 week timeline right so which is approximately 3 to 4 week timeline block 1 upper limit is 6 weeks and uh, which is just two chapters but number systems is a deep chapter so it will take a little bit more time you cannot finish number systems in 4 5 days so so ideally i talk about 3 weeks for number systems and 1 week for progressions but you can you can uh, again depending on whether you are a quick learner or a, or a poor learner and how good how confident you are you are with your quants uh, prep etc and how how quickly you are able to solve questions etc you are you are either uh, shortening that timeline to 3 weeks overall or extending it to 6 weeks overall But whichever you look at, whichever you look at it, ten uh, weeks is the median time, six plus four. But in a shortened time, it can be it can happen in seven weeks also, and in elongated time, it should happen in fourteen weeks. So even at fourteen weeks, you are looking at roughly around three months, or maybe a little bit, uh, yeah, approximately three months. You are looking at in in finishing of two three one, even at the fourteen week timeline. But if you are if you are normal and you are able to achieve it in ten weeks, it's around the two month timeline. right so that's where your round one of uh, block one should get over then from from 2 3 1 once you have finished 2 3 1 then you move to uh, move to 4 5 6 and 4 5 6 block 4 the geometry wala block block 5 the uh, functions uh, and uh, higher maths wala block algebra block and block 6 the uh, the permutation combination wala block these blocks can be done in any order you can do 4 say 4 5 6 और इस ब्लॉक में क्या है फोर और फाइव इज स्लाइटली लॉन्गर एरिया सिक्स इज अट शॉर्ट विजिट ब्लॉक सिक्स जस्ट थ्री चैप्टर्स पी एन सी प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड सेट थियरी कैन फीजिबली डन बी डन इन टू 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 थ्री वीक्स इसमें कैट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से ओनली सेट थियरी इज वेरी क्रिटिकल 
कॉम्बिनेशन कॉम्बिनेशन में समटाइम्स देल बी क्वेश्चन समटाइम्स देल बी नो क्वेश्चन एक्सेट्रा सो सो दैट एन सेट थेरी यू एनी एनी वी गोइंग टू स्टडी थ्रू इन डी आई एन एल आर ऑल्सो सो सो यू हैव अ सेकेंड विजिट टू सेट थेरी देयर बेस्ड ऑन द बेसिक विजिट टू सेट थेरी वेन यू डू इट इन क्वांट्स सो सेट थेरी इज वेरी क्रिटिकल इन इन कैट सो सो यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू डू दैट वेल बट बट अगेन एज अ सेट इट कैन बी सिक्स फाइव फोर फोर फाइव सिक्स You might say, ki, okay, I I I do six first because I want to get rid of one block very quickly, because a block four will be a four to five week visit. That's that's geometry mensuration. Your first visit, uh, first round of visit to to geometry mensuration should be around four to five weeks, where your uh, your focus is on geometry mensuration uh, and coordinate geometry a little bit. Not not very important again. And then uh, block five is uh, is slightly longer. It's around five to six weeks because in that block there are two very big chapters. Both for CAT as well as that, and that is uh, um, functions and equations. These two chapters are very very critical in in block five. So block five will take you at least functions. May you will take around one to two weeks itself. Equations also will take one to two weeks itself. So so block five uh, logs and uh, inequalities are shorter. Uh, this thing they can be done in four five days each. So so it will take you a timeline of around uh, uh, eight to ten weeks. Uh, 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 no, sorry, five, five to six weeks, uh, in 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 these in this part uh, in in block five part. So you might you might want to say, okay, block five, six, and four, or you might want four, five, six uh, in that order. You you can decide which order you want to do. Any any order is as good as the other. It just depends on what motivates you better, and what you will be more efficient doing. So that's that's something which is a personal decision, which you can take in terms of this thing. But but very important to to understand here. Uh, before I come to timeline, uh, the second part of your timeline, which is the phase two, the output part, उसमे क्या करना है उसको उसको करने के पहले very important to uh, to talk about here is how do you do those round ones. So this timelines that I'm going giving is for round one on each of these chapters. And when I say round one, obviously it means there's a round two and round three, and a round four and a round five if required, right? So in the first two and a half. Three months approximately, upper limit three months. Normally two to one half months. You would have finished round one and block two, three, one. So in the next uh, time when you are doing four, five, six, you have to restart doing one, two, three blocks one, two, three again by going through the questions that you have uh, gone through in the first round, right? So you have to do this, do a second round of the same questions. You don't need to pick up new questions when you are doing a second round. So if you are solving my my uh, books, <coughs> my QA book, uh, then L O D one and L O D two for each of the chapters during round one, and what will happen? And this is very important. What will happen is when you start solving your uh, your questions, uh, let's say you're solving L O D one or you're solving L O D two of the chapter. What you'll realize is that you'll not be able to solve every question, and it's perfectly fine that you're not not able to solve every question because if you go through L O D one and two. And you can solve every question in the most efficient method. Then you are ready for the CAT. So you need to understand that there are two things, two learning, dual learning aspects to the journey. One aspect of the learning journey is uh, is to ensure that you are able to solve all the questions. And the second aspect of the learning journey is to make sure that you have developed better methods and better processes for it. So you need to go to go through both of these in your in your journey. But uh, but coming back uh, to to what do you do? Uh, as you keep solving there are questions which you will not be able to solve inside the inside the exam or inside your uh, your practice uh, session so don't jump to solutions don't go to other people for it just leave those questions think about every question keep a time limit for every question that you want to think on you can keep a time limit of 8 minutes 10 minutes 12 minutes jiske baad tumse solve nahi hone wala hai wo don't 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 extend one question to 30 minutes because that will Unnecessarily make your uh, your study session very very unproductive. So, जब भी किसी round one में कोई question कर रहे हो, whether you're doing it L O D one or L O D two, and you come across the question, you can't solve it. After ten minutes, stop thinking about it. Mark it. Ki I want to come back to this a little bit later, and you uh, you move on uh, to the next one. So this is what you'll need to do. And and when you uh, doing four five six in the in the second part of the first phase of your timeline, in your input part. That time you start the second round of one, two, three. So by the time you finish uh, a five-month timeline, you should have done two rounds of one, two, three, and you should have done one round of four, five, six. 
right so this is what uh, what is the starting point strategy of quantitative aptitude what do you do after that how does how do you utilize phase 2 of your timeline and how do you do uh, how do you learn uh, learn better or how do, how do you ensure uh, that you 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 ensure that your skills go up as you solve qa that will come in a follow up video to this video so so look forward to that and i hope you are enjoying the videos on on the arunsharma mind mindworks channel and do uh, do comment and do like and share the videos i'll see you again bye bye